you know year 2023 is a special year because it started with a sunday and it is going to end with a sunday so there are going to be 53 sundays or you can say there is one extra day to relax now which will be the next year in the near future which will have the same calendar as 2023 that means it should be a normal year and it should start with a sunday and uh, should end with a sunday so if you want to calculate this thing sometimes you use complicated uh, calculations to figure out that thing but in this video i'm going to give you a shortcut a very simple approach using which you can just calculate this thing in 10 seconds right so whether you are preparing for cat cmat or any other competitive or entrance exam uh, you know you can uh, come across such question and in this video you are going to learn some amazing trick so watch this video till the end and don't forget to hit the like button so let's begin and understand that method but before that in case if you are watching my video for the first time so this is a bit about myself i'm also the author of uh, anikidmi lrdi book so you can keep learning with me complete quant and lrdi both the subjects and uh, you can be part of my telegram group uh, so that you can get all updates about my free videos that i'm conducting you can definitely check the description of this video and uh, apart from that in case if you are targeting cat 23 or 24 or other exam you can use my code charted and go for an academy plus or iconic subscription right now you are getting 25 percent discount similarly at different point of time different offers are going on you will get maximum discount through this code char 10 Chalo. so let's look at uh, the question which is which year in the nearest future will have the same calendar as 2022 now how to find out this thing so as i said we can do the calculation in 10 seconds so what is the technique so please understand this point divide the given year by four and check the remainder just make sure that year is not a century year because if it is a century year another rule comes in the picture so that we'll discuss later on in fact i'm also going to release one detailed video on uh, calendars uh, so in about 20 30 minutes you can learn the complete calendars and i'll soon update that link in the description so do check the description once again so how to check uh, how to check uh, that which will be the next year so guys the technique is uh, divide the given year by four and check the remainder for example 2022 when i divide by four the remainder is going to be two right now just look at this three points and this is what you need to remember if the remainder is one add six to the current year to get the desired year if the remainder is two or three add 11 to the current year to get the desired year and since we have got remainder two so our year will be 11 ahead than the current year so next year will be 2033 when the same calendar will be repeated so if i talk about 2022 the next year will be 2033 had it been 2023 if you talk about 2023 then the next year with the same calendar will be 2034 because 2023 divided by 4 once again the remainder will be 3 only right so since the remainder is 3 we'll have to add 11 to this year so we'll get the desired year as 2034 which will again start with a sunday and end with a sunday if you want you can check uh, on the calendars uh, you will have the century calendar in your mobile so you can just go to year 2034 and check whether it's true or not right similarly if uh, when you divide uh, the year by four and if you get remainder zero now when do you get remainder zero when it's a leap year right then add 28 to the current year to get the desired year now this is something that you need to remember for example if i ask you this question that when will the calendar be repeated after 2024 so you will have to add 28 to this so you will get 2052 as the year so our answer for this question should be 2052 so i really hope you have understood this concept of course uh, you must have uh, you know if you have learned calendar a bit uh, then you would know that calendar moves forward by the number of odd days and this particular trick completely works on that calculation of number of odd days which i have simplified for you so i'm sure you would like this trick do let me know in the comment section how did you find this and uh, yeah don't forget to hit the like button and do share it with all your friends as i mentioned at the beginning do check uh, the detailed video on calendar that i'm releasing uh, so that will give you all the details uh, for the exam that you are preparing and apart from that do check uh, my other videos on quantitative aptitude and logical listening and data interpretation to have more such tricks right okay so yes uh, here is the link uh, where you can find all my other videos so when you click on this link you can directly go to Lakshya batch if you are preparing for cat or ipmat you will see uh, the videos uh, these are completely free videos so you will see videos on all the topics of quantitative aptitude and logical reasoning please explore that and uh, keep learning with me 
Right, and apart from that, guys, uh, here are some benefits of Plus and Iconic subscription. So, as I mentioned at the beginning, you can use my code Chart and to get the maximum discount and to prepare under my guidance. Right, so you can join my Plus or Iconic batch uh, to have amazing learning. So don't miss it. The offer is going to end soon. Right, and make sure that all of you have joined this Telegram channel. And uh, yeah, keep learning with me, guys. We'll come up with more such videos, and uh, stay tuned for that.